Hey, bestie. How are you doing in your new city? Oh, it's been rough. I used to have so many friends. Now I pretty much just spend my evenings knowing I should unpack more boxes, but wishing that I could hang out with people. It's only been two weeks. Don't worry. You'll make friends in no time. You know that people love you. This is just like when we went off to college. No, it's not. Because then I still had you at the start of that. Except when you were with that guy you dated on and off. Jake? Yeah. Well, actually, we don't date on and off. We broke up once when he was interested in someone else. That lasted for about three months, then we were friends again for a bit. Less than six months after we broke up, he wanted to get back together. And we've been a couple ever since. Then why didn't you ever bring him around when we hung out? I don't think I've met him. By then, you had a huge friend group and were constantly off doing other stuff. Why haven't you brought him around since then? Right now, we're long distance. Actually, he's in your town. Really? Do you think you could introduce us? I'm kind of starting to feel depressed. Yeah, sure. He's got a lot of friends, and I'm sure you'll fit in with them really well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I've just been at a bit of a loss without any friends around, you know? You've only been there a couple of weeks. I'm sure you'll have hundreds of friends long before you finish unpacking. With your charisma and gregarious nature, you know that you won't be alone for long. It doesn't feel that way. Work is keeping me far too busy. That's why I'm depressed. I mean, the people from work are great, but I don't want to depend on them for all of my social needs. Man, if I would have known they would want me to work so much, I would have turned down the job. What? But you were so excited. And you said you knew that it would be a lot more work. I guess. But it's different when you're actually living it, you know? Yeah, I guess I get it. I'll let Jake know you're in town and meet friends. I hope to make it out that way in a couple of weeks so maybe we can all hang out. I wish you could come out and introduce me to him in person. It's hard to believe that you guys have been dating so long, but I've never met him. We've talked about marriage. <laughs> But right now, he has to focus on work. He's supposed to move back here sometime this year, though. I'm really looking forward to it because I miss him. Aw. Uh, still, I wish you would have introduced us earlier. It almost feels like a pity introduction now. <laughs> a pity introduction? Is that even a thing? Don't laugh at me. I'm starving for friends right now. I can tell. I'll ask him about talking to you in a bit. I have to wrap up a few things first. Okay. And I'm okay with you giving him my number. Okay, so you'll set up the meetup date and time? Yeah, you don't need to be the middleman for setting up play dates. Okay, okay, I got it. I'll let him know that he can just contact you. And I'll be up there on the 21st so we can have a big evening. I'm so excited about a long weekend with my boyfriend and my best friend. Sounds great. Thank you so much. You're a real lifesaver. I try. Have a good night. And don't procrastinate too long on getting stuff unboxed. You don't want a repeat of what you did in your last apartment. Oof, please don't remind me. That isn't the motivator you think it is. <laughs> okay, now go on and get some rest. You won't have time to yourself for long. Oh, I really hope not. Have a great night. You too. Hello, handsome. I have a favor to ask of you. Well, if it isn't the foxy lady from another city, eh? I'm doing really well, and looking forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, I can't wait. It's been far too long. I want a whole day alone with you. Also, a new restaurant has opened up, and I want to try it with you. Oh, you have me intrigued. What kind of food? That's gonna be a surprise. Just gonna leave me in suspense? I'm already suffering having to wait for the time when I can come see you. Just the way I like it. <laughs> so you need a favor, huh? Is that in addition to taking you to a luxurious dining experience? Well, I would love for you to come see me. I've come to you for the last two years. I know, and I'm sorry, but things are so busy. And when they aren't busy, it's straight up chaotic. With the way things are going, I'll be able to move back home within the next six months. <gasps> oh, that would be amazing. I miss having you here. However, for now, my friend Brandy has moved to your city. She's been there a couple of weeks, but hasn't had time to meet people because of work. As a highly gregarious person, she needs to have a social life. 
Ah, oh, one of your exhausting friends, huh? And I suppose you want me to help her? Yeah, sorry. She's been my best friend for a long time, and I know that she has a hard time being alone. I was going to set up a time and place for you guys to meet, but she said just to contact her directly. I can help her, but she'll owe me. And I already know how I want to pay you back. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Send the information along tomorrow. I don't have time to talk to her tonight. That's fine. She needs to work on unpacking. She can be a terrible procrastinator. Lovely. Is she one of those who's always late to stuff? Sometimes, but she'll be on time while getting to know you and your friends. You know how I feel about being late to stuff. Yeah, I know, but I promise she'll want to make a good impression. Besides, just don't go to places with her when there is a timeline involved. So no taking her to the movies or plays, huh? <laughs> I would hope you don't plan to have something like date nights with her. <laughs> no, you're my one and only. I'm still so grateful when you took me back after I messed everything up. Ah, we were young. There's no reason to hold that against you. Not when you've been the perfect boyfriend ever since. And I plan to keep reminding you why I'm the best man for you. Anyway, I need to get going. I'm finishing up a presentation for tomorrow. Okay, thanks Jake, and I love you. I love you too. Holy cow, Zoe, you never told me what an absolute hottie your boyfriend is. Wow, you really scored with that man. <laughs> hey, Brandy, don't I know it. Even better, he's so sweet and kind. He works a little too hard, so I'm hoping to get him to relax when he moves back here. Oh, that's right. He's going to be leaving here next year, huh? Absolutely. We've been apart for far too long. It seems so unfair. I'm going to lose my new friend so soon after moving here. He's got a huge friend group. By the time he leaves, I'm sure you'll see all of the rest of them as great friends. You'll barely miss him. Not sure how you could say that. He's probably the best eye candy I've ever seen. Um, that's a little... <laughs> Please don't call him that. I'm sorry, it's just so hard to believe that you and he are together. Why? Don't get me wrong, you're cute and all, but he's just... Wow! <laughs> now that you don't deserve a hot man, you just really got someone out of your league. Ouch. That's really hurtful. Hey, you know that I'm not gonna lie just to spare your feelings. I have no idea how you ended up with someone so hot. I mean, he's the kind of guy that I usually date. Maybe in the looks department, but when it comes to personality, you guys are almost complete opposites. I think you may be jealous. Jealous? What's there to be jealous of? He's my boyfriend. And I'm really not comfortable with the way you're talking about him. You're right, I'm sorry. I just did not expect him to be so gorgeous. <gasps> I'm starting to regret asking him to help you find friends. Oh, it's fine. You know how I am. That's why you love me. <laughs> right now, you're being insensitive. Bordering on being a jerk, actually. You're right. I'm sorry. I have to go to meet up with my siblings to plan for my parents' anniversary party. Good luck with work. Sure. Hey, Jake. I haven't heard from you in a couple of weeks. Is everything okay? Oh, hey, Zoe. Yeah, just busy. Usually you text at least every couple of days. Phones work both ways. You could have texted me. I did, but you didn't respond. The only reason I didn't call in for a wellness check was because Brandy said you were fine. I can't say that I'm too happy that she's the one telling me how you are. Like I said, things have gotten busy, but I'm really glad you messaged me. It's great to hear from you too. No, th that's not it. Well, I mean, it is great to hear from you, but work is going to need me to stay here longer. You mean you aren't going to return soon? Because I've got everything prepared for your arrival. Well, you know that the date was never set in stone. Oh, that really sucks. I had a party planned and everything. I'm sorry, hon. You'll need to cancel it for now. I'll let you know when it looks like I'll make it back. Do you have any idea how long you'll need to stay there? Not yet, no. You'll be one of the first to know when I know. 
So you don't know if you're looking at a few weeks or another year? I already said I don't know. That means I can't give you any kind of an estimate. I'm only asking because I've been offered a chance to work abroad for the end of the year. If you aren't going to be here, I think I may just take the opportunity. Once you get here, I won't be able to do it. I don't think you should take it. What if I'm able to be back in a few weeks? Then I'll be left there all alone without you. What if you don't return until I've come back? The only reason I turned it down was because I thought you were coming home. There is still time for me to change my mind. And knowing that you are going to be gone, I think I'm going to say yes. We're supposed to be making major decisions together. You can't just leave our place so you can go gallivanting wherever. Someone needs to hold down the fort. You decided to stay there longer without telling me. That's different. I'm doing it for work. Mine's for work too? It's different and you know it. You're right, it is different. Because I'm telling you before I go. It's not like it'll matter to you. I hardly hear from you anymore. And now you aren't coming home. It feels like you're picking a fight with me to justify going. I'm just really upset because I was preparing for you to come home and now I find out that you aren't going to be returning for who knows how long. I think we need to take a break. What? I helped you with your friend. Then you started ignoring me. Now you're making decisions without me. It feels like we're starting to grow apart. You've got to be kidding me. And you think the best way to tell me this is over text? Just because I want to accept an opportunity that will advance my career? It's more than that and you know it. This feels like it's been inevitable. Is this like last time? Do you already have someone else you're interested in? What? No. I'm just... Work is busy and I need to focus. Trying to deal with you too is just too much. Okay, well, let me know when you want to talk again. Until then, good luck, Jake. Good luck, Zoe. And think about what you really want. I will. Hey, Zoe. I have some amazing news. I was going to wait until I see you again, but I just can't hold it in. Hi, Brandy. It's good to hear from you again. You were quiet for a few weeks there. I know. That's because everything's been going so perfectly. I'm pregnant. What? Really? <laughs> Congratulations, I, I didn't even know you were dating anyone. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind romance, but he is the perfect man for me. I'm so glad to hear that. And that leads me to a question. Will you be my maid of honor? You're getting married? Yes, silly. That's why I wanted you to be my maid of honor. Of course, we'll need to move quickly because I'm about three months along and starting to show. When is the wedding? We're still ironing out the details, but I think that it'll happen before the end of the month. I want my dream wedding dress, so that means I need to get married soon before my belly gets huge. Or you could wait until after you have the baby. I mean, how well do you know this guy? Well enough. <laughs> I mean, I am pregnant with his baby. It's not the same as actually knowing someone. Are you really worried that he won't be a good father and husband? Of course. I don't want to see you end up with someone who's going to treat you terribly. You shouldn't be getting married just because you're pregnant. See, now your jealousy is showing through. My jealousy? No. I really want what's best for you. It might be best to take a step back and really think things through. There is nothing to think about. You and Jake broke up recently, so now he's free to marry me. What does Jake have to do with this? And we didn't break up. He said we should be on a break. Well, consider this me telling you that your relationship is over because he's the father of my baby. What? Are you kidding me? How could you? I told you he's too good looking to be with you. But he and I look absolutely perfect together. Now everything is how it should be. And now you don't have to worry about my man being a good man since you know him so well. So I'm going to be sending you all of the details about what I want. I know there isn't much time before the wedding, but I still want a pretty big one. Jake said that you were thinking about going on a trip for work, but you can't do that now since you'll need to handle things for my wedding. 
Hell no! I'm not doing anything for you guys. Go find someone else to support you. Someone you haven't screwed over. If there's anyone left. Don't be like that. We both know that I'm always going to be your best friend. After what you've done, I don't ever want to hear from you again. Stop being so selfish. I'm pregnant and this is just causing me unnecessary stress. Seriously? You blocked me? You knocked up Brandy. Oh, you know? She just asked me to be the maid of honor and plan the wedding. Man, she really does not use her brain, does she? Look, we're on a break, so it's not like you can get mad at me for this. She's three months pregnant. We weren't on a break when that happened. Damn it. She has such a big mouth. Look, I haven't proposed to her or anything. I'm gonna see how things go, and if we don't work out, you're still my backup. I'm your backup. Yeah, just like last time. Because let's be honest, Brandy is hot. She's good for a fling, but I don't think she's wife material. You're the perfect woman to marry. So ultimately, I see myself ending up with you. You are delusional if you think that there is any chance I'll want anything to do with you after this. Do what you want with Brandy. I'm not a part of either of your lives now. You'll come to your senses eventually. You know that you aren't gonna find anyone as attractive as me willing to be with you. Hey, Zoe. It's been forever. Sorry, but I don't know who this is. It's me, your best friend. This definitely isn't Emmy. Emmy? Who is that? My best friend. No, silly. It's Brandy. Your real best friend. No, Brandy is the backstabbing witch who stole my long-term boyfriend. Hey, I'm a young single mom, and I heard that you're back in the States. Yeah, I am. Great, I'd love to get together and catch up. You know, like we always do when we haven't seen each other for a while. I'm good, thanks. Oh, come on, Zoe. I know that you miss me just as much as I miss you. And we can both hate on that bastard, Jake. He's such a horrible, controlling jerk. No, thanks. I don't care what happens to you, and I'm not wasting any more time on thinking about that cheater. Whatever happened between you guys is your problem, not mine. But we've been friends forever. You can't just throw that away. I didn't. You did. Now I'm going to block you again and change my number. Because, and I reiterate, I don't care what happens to you now. But I need you. I can't believe you blocked me. I'm your best friend. Hey, beautiful. Did you miss me? Are you messing with me, Emmy? Who's Emmy? If this isn't Emmy, who is it? It's the love of your life. I don't have one of those. Oh, come on, Zoe. I know things got really bad toward the end, but I want to start fresh. After all, you forgave me once, and we came back stronger after that. Oh, this must be Jake. Of course. I've missed you more than I can say. And I know that you've thought about me. So let's start mending our relationship. It should be easy because I moved back to town. Brandy and I are not together anymore. I don't know why I would care. You screw who you want and do whatever makes you happy. It's got nothing to do with me. You are what makes me happy. I only want you. I've realized that over the last year. It seems to be a lesson that you have to refresh periodically. Sorry, but that's far too much work for me. Good luck finding another woman who'll put up with your BS. Do you need me to come to you and beg? Because I will if that's what it takes. What I need is for you to stop contacting me. I know you're back in town. Are you still in the same apartment where we were supposed to live together when I moved back? Because I'll come to you and give you the biggest surprise of your life. I think you've given me enough of a surprise. It definitely left a lasting impression. We never officially broke it off, so you should at least give me closure. I'm done with this conversation. I know that you don't mean it. Because if you did, you would block me. Oh, you actually did. Well, I'm not giving up. And now you will really be surprised. 
Jake showed up to my place where I used to live and basically plastered it with rose petals. He brought a few members from the high school orchestra class to play a song for me. When the new tenants opened the door, they were not happy. Nor were the neighbors. He was pretty much run out of the building. He tried to reach out and find me, but I was only in town for a short period of time. I did so well working abroad that I took a position traveling for work, so I was never in town long enough for him to harass me. Brandy continued to try to reach out to me over social media, asking me to be the godmother of her child. My real friends and family shamed her until she stopped trying to contact me. I missed all of that drama because work kept me too busy to see what drama that girl was still drumming up. My friend Emmy told me that Jake and Brandy were constantly fighting in court because of their child. When Jake realized I wasn't going to take him back, he blamed Brandy, so he tried to get custody of their child. I hear things got really nasty, and they both threw themselves into fighting in court instead of working. They ended up brawling in court one day, and of course that landed both of them in jail. Brandy spread word about what he did around his work, which got him fired. In response, he sent pictures of her embezzling money from her company, something she had been doing for years. It's funny how close they got during their time together. It was close enough to destroy each other when things went sour. I've stayed well out of it because it's not my circus and not my monkeys. Now that I'm single, I've been doing a lot of things that I wanted to do but was constantly talked out of doing by Jake. I've been offered a position in an office in Ireland, and I'm thinking about taking it because I'll be able to backpack around Europe during my downtime. It's so exciting, and I can't wait to see what else I've been missing.